Let's talk about grief. I think that's what I'm feeling. That's what, that's what I'm feeling. Why do I say that? Because sadness, feeling some of that. A friend asked me, um, we'd gone to Dallas last week. Yeah, it was last week. And um, she said, when do you miss your mom? Like times of day, anything like that? And I said, no, there aren't really any times of day. I mean, I would go over in the mornings sometimes and take care of her or would spend the night as it got toward the end. And I said, there really isn't a time of day. I said, there are events. There are events that I miss my mom. Um, one event was when Hunter was in town moderating um, a show. I thought, gosh, my mom would have loved to have been in the audience to see that. Um, I miss my mom showing her my remodel, which is absolutely stunning, gorgeous, fantastic, everything. My mom would be so happy. I miss um, telling her about, um, actually getting her opinion on you know, a, a trip that I was thinking about taking and have decided to take it because I knew that she would, she would say, go, go. Um, I missed her today when I was um, in my office and there was this thing that she made. It was a fish thing in a jar when I would take her to the adult um, daycare and they would make things, oak craft projects and, and, and so I, I have that in my office and it's a fish because my mom loved to fish and it has little rocks and some colored water and it's in a little jar it has her name on it it was I think the date was 728 of 23 yeah so I missed that um, and then I think it's you know my daughter was here this weekend and then she you know went back to New York so I think it's like all of that. And then the you know weather's changing and, and all of that. We're headed into the holiday season. So I think all of that is like a combination of things that are happening that make me miss my mom. Um, and so I'm just taking it as it comes. Not trying to push it down, but just inviting the emotions, whether that's tears if they come, whatever it is, just sitting and just being with that. And then um, one of the things I was planning to do tonight is um, play some worship music, some songs that will uh, are like comfort I like comfort to me. And I'm thinking of one. Though the storms of life keep raging in my life. I don't, I don't I forgot the rest of it. I don't even know what the song is, but I'll remember. I'll find it. Yeah, I'm just thinking about that song. So that's what I'll do. So if you you know, this holiday season, as we approach the holiday season, and, and you find yourself feeling sad, feel it, feel it. You're not alone. Um, reach out to people. Um, but don't sit alone in it and not let others know that you're sad. It's okay, it's okay. We are to, in the Christian tradition, share each other's burdens. Not be in this alone.
So I hope you will share your joys, your memories, your pain, whatever it is. Don't keep it inside.